What's going on, my little pig? It's your BFF Porkchop here, and I'm coming at you with another installment of the Pokemon Deli Bird Run. So, left off beating Whitney and that bastard of a mill tank, and uh, we're actually going to be onwards and upwards, as some would say. So, we're going to go do the next venture, which is we're exploring Route 35 and the trainers that they have to offer. So, training montage begins now. y'all just witnessed is me making every single one of those trainers my bitch because <laughs> Deli Bird didn't even break a sweat with that. So I guess we're just gonna move on to the National Park here which we're not really gonna explore much. We're actually just gonna carry on. It is a very cool place. Uh, I will probably come back here at some point but uh, I just have no use for it currently. There are a few trainers that are just lurking in the tall grass but uh we're not here for that. We actually do have to do a little bit of a, you know, back step, back pedaling, um, here in a bit with the, uh, with the game. I'll let you know what I mean just here in a second. I'm gonna skip those two trainers. I'm gonna have to battle her. That's just, what? I'm the flower shop Flora. Listen, listen, when I speak, Sprinkle water on that wiggly tree, it jumps right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked if one of the disguised... Sorry, guys. I've worked all day and I'm doing this, so, like, I I can't read more shit, apparently. Good old ASD education. I know. I'm telling my sis and borrow her water bottle. So, that's why we have to back step, is we have to go talk to the flower shop owner who's going to give us the, uh water bottle to get rid of that Pokemon that was up there. Which, oh yeah, I forgot, we have a bike now. So, I'm gonna use that maneuver. We're probably gonna have to reactivate it once we get through this little threshold right here. Yep. God forbid we ride a bike indoors. And just going, <laughs> doing a little victory lap, just flipping the bird on my way through. Alright, here's the flower show. La la la, I have plenty of water, blah, 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 okay. When I told my sister about the jumping tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. Oh, you're better than Whitney? You'll be okay, then. Here's the squirt bottle. Call her see the squirt bottle as she gives her child the middle finger. <laughs> Call her put the squirt bottle in the key pocket. <laughs> That's pretty much what she did. It's like, oh, I wonder if I beat Whitney, my mom will let me do this. And mom's like, nah. You're not doing it. You're just, uh, I'm just gonna give this water bottle to this guy I met five seconds ago. And screw what you want. So, like I said, a bunch of trainers over here will probably do all that off camera. Try to save some time. Um, there are quite a bit, if I remember correctly, and they are having game contests on certain days, but we're not gonna stick around to find out. Ah, I thought, <laughs> I thought I was out of his line of sight. Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Mm. Have you ever met a Deli Bird that's very spiteful? Yeah, didn't think so. I'm ready for any Pokemon. It's a weird tree. You Squirt Bottle? Let's do it. The weird tree doesn't like the Squirt Bottle. The weird tree attacked. The weird tree is actually a Sudowoodo. Which is kind of a really cool Gen 2 Pokemon in my opinion. I think he looks really awesome. Uh, too bad we're just gonna mud slap him to Kingdom Come. Okay, uh, maybe a present will be a little effective. We'll see what happens. That's a big one. Didn't do anything. Alright. The pseudo Wudo is gonna copy present. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mud slap him again. Right in the crotch? Seems to be the 
predominant area for that. Love kick. Ooh. And we're not gonna catch this guy. I mean, if we're gonna do anything later on in the game, because we're gonna need, like, rock smash and strength and all that, I think I'm just gonna get just a run-of-the-mill uh, Geodude or something for that for later. But, uh, Sudobudo, goodbye. Alright, so, made it through that. Route 37? Yep. Alright. Nothing really here for worth a training montage, so we're already in Ecritique City. So how about that? We go to the gym. Morty, the gym leader, is absent. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Ho, ho, ho. Kick him right in the crotch. Because Morty, not who I named my cat after, is at the Burning Tower. Which is a burned tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away. <laughs> it is unsafe. Every ten-year-old boy is like, yeah, but I kind of want to go in there. My name's Yusin. Yusin? I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune, and you are Colin. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in the Burnt Tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could he be? I don't know. And that's... A critique gym leader has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Uh, Yusin is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. You do that. I'm gonna go, uh... feel like it's a waste, but we're gonna use our... one of our repels. Because we're gonna need it, evidently. I forgot that... wild Pokemon are in here. Oh, and look who it is! It's Asshat! Looking at you through the glass. Don't know how much time has passed. Ass. Hat. That's okay. I'll come to you. Come on, star shithead. Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they said were roosting here. But there's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to the dump. No way. It's all your fault. This is like attempt number four on this crap. Um, he has a really good array of Pokemon that just absolutely go through Kringle. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, his Haunter. Oh. His Haunter did not lead with uh, Curse. There it is! Dumb brick. Okay, now I have a curse on me. And now we're at level 31, so I think Kringle's gonna start disobeying us now. And now we have a curse! And, uh, I can't switch out Pokemon. So, kinda made my bed, now I gotta lay in it, right? Oh, nice crit! It wasn't even a crit, that was just super effective. Lava is coming out. I wonder how much damage I can do with just a simple headbutt. I mean, I'm eight levels ahead. How much does a headbutt do? A little less than half. It's a little bit of a problem, especially when he's using Ember. Alright. Will this take care of him? Yes! Cool. Alright, and I, I think Zubat's still his last Pokemon? What level is a Zubat? Like, 18? 20. Okay. What's a headbutt gonna do with him? Knock his ass out! There we go! I only took four attempts, but I got ass hat on the ground! Mm. This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. Dude, you're like every kid I've ever talked to playing Madden Online with like PlayStation. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. And then... Shit! Hmm. What are you doing falling into hole?
to a hole. Some genius you are. Serves you right. This one... Asshole. And then we meet the legendary dogs. Raikou, Entei, Suicune! And then he says hello. And... Leaves. I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. For ten years I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Colin, I owe you all this. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of uh, Ecrotique tests uh, chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Colin, let's meet again. Farewell. Alright. So he's out, and I get attacked by a Pokemon. Get out of here. Alright. And we're out. Right. I'm gonna heal up before I go take on the gym leader. And we do yet another training montage. So, let's do it. This one has like a weird like little pattern that you have to follow. You literally have to do like a serpentine. So, let's have fun. to have come here in Ecrotic City. Here in Ecrotic City, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secure, secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot, just a bit more. With a little more, I can see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me research that level. Reset level. Alright, so, okay, this is attempt number two. Pretty much got through most of his Pokemon, and then I got to his last one, and no dice. So, we did gain one level, I believe, on that last battle, so maybe that'll help us a bit. I mean, that helped me quite a bit. Okay, only taking three off, that's great. Bye-bye. You're gonna get one more level? Potentially, after... If we get rid of this Haunter. Oh, it was a crit! Thank God! Because that's the one that cursed me last time. So, we definitely got through that one. Scott free Gengar. Gengar's so badass. And this is going to take me at least four attempts to do that. Unless we get a crit. Which, ah, oh, that missed every single time in the last go-round. Um, we had a, an awakening. Let's go ahead and use it. Catch him off guard. I'm awake! Are you trying to do a dream eater? Ha <laughs> ha! You prick. <laughs> Thank God I came prepared on that. But that's gonna take me, I think, four. But I'm praying for a crit. I'm praying for a crit, and I'm praying that he keeps missing with those. 
accuracy fail, and he missed the last hypnosis. That's pretty much it for Gengar. See you, bruh. Thanks for the memories. And the over 1,000 XP. Thanks, Haunter. Shaking. Shaking with my present bag. There we go. That's the way you do it right there. Attempt number two was damn near flawless. Leader Morty was defeated. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. And $2,300. Appreciate you. Call and receive the fog badge from Morty. Here we go. Level 50 Obey. That's great. Also, Pokemon can learn Surf outside of battle, and we received TM30, which is Shadow Ball, which I don't believe we can learn. I don't think that we can learn Shadow Ball. That would be a badass item, or a badass move to have. But uh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We have a couple of things that we have to do before we call that an installment. Uh, one of those is we're going to the dance theater to learn surf, I believe. Hold on, what's she saying? I'm going to practice dance theater. Care to join me? Well, yeah, let's go. No? No follow? Okay. Alright, I'm going to do a little training montage with these girls up here, so hold tight. talk to this guy. Not only are the Kono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never left a scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry. Take it. HMO3, which is Surf. And uh, that'll help us move across the seas. Which is good and all, but I forgot where I was supposed to get... Um, sorry, I forgot where I was supposed to get uh, Fly for later, but it's nowhere near here. So, we got Surf, so I'm going to have to get a Pokemon to teach it that. But uh, there's also another tower around here that I think I wanted to explore, but I can't remember where it is. Um, I think it's here, actually. It's the Tin Tower. What does that say? Ten Tower may be entered by those bearing the Egretic Badge. However, now that Suicune, Raikou, and Entei have arised, I ask you to refrain from entering. Okay. So, there's no reason for me to come in here. Um, legendary. Um, we trained Burn Tower. So, they moved from a wood tower to a tin tower. Because, I guess that helps them a little bit better with the uh, jet fuel can't melt steel beams. The Tin Tower Head is a nine tier tower of divided beauty. It soothes the soul for all who see it. And this guy. The two towers, two Pokemon, but when one burned down, both Pokemon flew away, never to return. So yeah, that's the, uh, the, uh, Legend of Lugia and Ho-Oh. I'm gonna go buy some more stuff, since we have some money. Um, I have a little bit of money, actually. Um, I don't want revive. Can I have more? They don't sell it here, huh? You don't sell repels? Alright, um, well then, uh, we grab a couple more potions, I guess. Call that good. Alright, thanks, bro. Alright, so I just, just explored the tin tower for no reason, that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. So Route 42, not where we need to go yet. 
need to go the other way. Sorry. A lot of prepping. A lot of prep. A lot of skills going on here. But, we're supposed to go this way. We're supposed to go this way. And, uh, there's some trainers up ahead. Hopefully I can get away with not having to deal with them. If I can help it... Oh god, she's a spaz. You seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice? Uh, don't be a spaz. Oh. <laughs> Almost walked right into him. At this point, I'm just running away from any Pokemon I encounter. There's some giant rats. Bruh. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Beating you, definitely. Dude has two slow pokes and he's like, let's see how tough you are. Hey, mm. I knew that there was something out here. I forgot it was a nugget. Awesome. Alright, well, there's this. Our milk even goes out to Kanto, so if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. Why don't you have more than one milk tank? My milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants to drink. It'll give you lots of milk if I feed you lots of berries. So get more than one milk tank. That's a terrible business model, man. That's just a fail rate of 100 to nothing. It's Cry's Week. Let's give it a berry. We have one berry on us. Mill tank, moo. It's Cry's Week. Give it a berry. Gone has no berries. I have no berries. I'm sorry. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. <laughs> okay, well, I gave her my only berry, and this one does not bear an actual berry. Um, it's a mint berry. But the mill tank will only take berries, and it, only on a floral plate. Um, if it's a uh, checkered plate, she won't accept it. Okay, I think I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't with this guy, so, yep. That eyesight, man, is 2020. This is a good time to brag about my Pikachu. Okay. Don't know when I started getting into the Hick territory, but here I am. And he sent out his Pikachu. I'm just freaking headbutting everybody to the Shadow Realm these days. That's all I'm doing. But, yeah, I wanted to at least get to Olivine, so here we are. And, uh, there's, uh, Asshat. You again? There's no need to go into the gym. Bother a wimp like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the White House. Huh. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may even be a bit less weak. At least he didn't kick me in the nuts that time. Alright. So. Learn my lesson from previous. Uh, I'm gonna save. Or, uh, I'm gonna heal here. And I'm gonna sell that nugget that I found. Excuse me, sir. Have I got a thing for you? But do I have any... Nobody sells re uh, repels anymore. What is going on with this country? Anyway, I'm gonna sell him that nugget I found. For almost double what I have. Alright, um. How about an X attack? You, you take X attack and X defenses? 250, or 275, I'll take it. 
Alright, I have two of these for 500. Thank you. Uh, miracle seed, 50 bucks. No, poisonous berry, 5 bucks a berry. Shit. Uh, poison or potion seed. Bitter berry, yeah, 5 bucks. Antidote. And repels. Okay, well then, uh, that's all I got for you. Pleasure doing business with you. You probably made some money off me today. But, that's all I'm going to do in this installment, guys. I just wanted to at least get to Olivine and uh, talk to the, some of the common folk. Everything makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Olivine Cafe made is chock full of healthy for, for sailors. Haha, uh -huh, your Pokemon sure look lightweight. Why don't you give them power? Here. Okay, strength. So, we got strength now. So, I believe we're going to have to teach that to a poor, poor old Geo dude. But, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, so. We're just going to go ahead and end the installment right there. Um, actually, I think there was a fisherman in here that I needed to talk to. Oh, wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Okay, never mind. I lied. There's a person in Cinewood City across the sea. I heard him brag about his rare Pokemon. Yeah, it's a shuckle. And you don't want to fuckle with a shuckle. The sailor in the Olivine next door is very generous. He taught my Pokemon strength. Now I can move big boulders. That's a nice rock. But anyway, there is a fisherman, I think, somewhere close by. But uh, I forget where he is. I mean, Olivine's such a huge town, so it's easy to get lost, you know what I mean? But, oh, it actually might be up here. Oh, this looks like a fisherman. I am looking for this Pokemon, a Krabby. Okay, now I don't have a Krabby, and I know you're disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm just looking for anybody wearing a fishing outfit. You're not wearing a fishing outfit. Along the way to Cinewood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the island as punishment. <laughs> like Lord of the Flies. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. <laughs> Daddy's threatening to banish you to the Shadow Realm. Oh, that's funny. Alright guys, now I'm going to get out of here because I forgot where the fisherman is, so thank you all so much once again for dropping by. I greatly appreciate y'all, and always remember my little pig. Let's call him Porkchop. Loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys!